we are again. Everyone else probably thinks I'm lame. <laughs> Hello everyone. My name is Ashton and I'm just trying to get it together. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a little unboxing. What do I do when I'm stressed out? What do I do that I probably shouldn't do? I'm gonna go to Ulta and I'm gonna buy some. So, here we are again. We're gonna unbox some stuff. <laughs> By the way, I'm in a new environment because I finally got rid of my desk and we haven't put my other desk in because it's a very busy week at work and I'm stressed out. <laughs> Before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I love to have you here all the time. We're pretty cool over here. By we, I mean me. <laughs> I think I'm cool, but everyone else probably thinks I'm lame, but it's fine. Make sure you check out my Instagram. It's at Ash Gets It Together. Without further ado, let's take the stuff out of this box. Like, we're, we're tired of this. Now, I did pre-open this because it's difficult to open boxes on camera. I say this every time because I don't want people just like, oh, you're not unboxing it on camera. Not saying that y'all would, but I don't know. So, yay, filler. We have several hair products here because Lord knows I need some. Okay. I actually got my hair done recently. I am going more for an ash blonde closer to my natural hair color, which is my eyebrows in this color. I just want it to be, you know, an ashy blonde to wear whenever it grows out. It's not gonna be as boom, boom. I don't want the regrowth to be as like harsh. Anyway, we have the Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy Bodybuilding Dry Shampoo with the orange man, I about said mango. I had a little tiny one that was like this and I didn't like the regular, I think it was green, not your mother's dry shampoo, um, but the orange mango, I really like the scent. It gives some volume. It's not like the Batiste where it has like that baby powder, like, you know, get rid of the grease so much, but it has a good scent and it gives volume like I like. And I can spray some Batiste to be like, okay, buy grease. Um, so I have two out of the three things I like. So I was like, for four bucks, absolutely, I'll take it. I really like the smell of this. Okay, next I have the OGX, and I really like this brand, Shea Sleek Humidity Blocking Hairspray. And this was $6.74, all like, I'm pretty sure every single bit of this was on sale. Yeah, it was. And this is supposed to block humidity, hold everything that you need. Um, and I'm pretty stoked to try this. Um, it says it has shea butter, marula oil, extra hold, smooths frizzies, defies the weather, and takes control. Let me know if you've tried this. I'm excited. I've used this before. I have not. I'm always in the mood for some really good products for your hair. Um, because y'all, like... I have to add stuff to get body in my hair. Like, I have a lot of hair, but it's thin. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Okay, this was a purchase that was just last minute add-in, and it was also on sale. A couple Not Your Mother's products. Um, this is, well, okay, a couple, yeah, because this is Not Your Mother's, and then this one is too. This is the Not Your Mother's Way to Grow Leave-In Conditioner. I got it for $2.09. Um, it's, a, it's a two ounce uh, bottle right here, and it is a leave-in conditioner, and it's to fortify, detangle, and protect against damage. It says you spray liberally onto clean, damp hair from roots to ends comb through. So basically just a leave-in conditioner, which I use every time I shampoo my hair. It looks like, oh my god, this leaked out. They didn't have this shut all the way. Ooh, I like the way that smells. I really like the way that smells. It doesn't look like much of it leaked out. It didn't leak on my other products because I kind of combed through there. It smells really good, so we'll see. We'll see how it works. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Let me know if you've used this before. I have I have no expectations. Like, I haven't heard that it was good. I haven't used it before. I have no idea how it works. So, let me know. Okay, so this was, I love a good hair treatment. Like, y'all, normally, like, I mean, I would say this is the last hair product. Like, this is the second to last hair product. 
Um, but this is the Mark Anthony True Professional Strengthening Grow Long Intense Hydration Conditioning Treatment. This is one of those treatment packs. Um, it was $1.79, so I was like, heck yeah, that's great for a hair product. Mark Anthony, I've heard, is a really good brand, so I was like, why not try it? Um, <laughs> I keep thinking, Mark Anthony, isn't that like JLo's ex? I don't think that's the same person. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> it says, deep hydration revives dry ends, reduces breakage, leaving hair stronger, and more manageable, visibly restores shine and softness, removing frizz with caffeine and ginseng. Ginseng, and it's free from sulfates, SLS, parabens, and phthalates. Um, sounds really good to me. And I know you think, man, your hair's long already. I want my hair long. <laughs> I feel like I want my hair so much longer, and then I just wanna be like, I don't know, I'm a weirdo. This is exciting. I wanna smell it. Can't smell it through the package. Okay, so if you haven't already seen my video with the OGX Candy Johnson dry shampoo, you should. I'll link the video down below. I really like that dry shampoo. It smells really good. It gives your hair a little bit of oomph and it, it covers up grease, you know, pretty, pretty well. Um, so I decided to get the uh, Candy Pop Glam. It's by the brand OGX. Let me hold it up here so you can see it. Um, Mermaid Moisture Ultra Hydrating Hair Mask, and it's by the brand OGX. Um, I'm super excited for this. I saw that it was on sale, and I got it for $7.49 for a hair mask, and it is six ounces. I felt that that was a really, really good price, and I've had OGX hair mask before. Oh my God, it has the same smell. Yes! It smells so good. It reminds me of something like a perfume. Oh my God, like a perfume or a body spray. A body spray that I used in like middle or elementary school. I know you're gonna be like, really? You wanna put that on your hair? But it's like in a good way. Like, I don't know what it smells like, but it's so good. It's the Candy Johnson Pop Glam Mermaid Moisture Ultra Hydrating Hair Mask. I, I, yeah, there you go, can you see it? There you go. I'm super excited. I really like the dry shampoo. I think it's good. You know, is it my favorite? No, Batiste will always be my favorite. If something dethrones Batiste, you're gonna know about it. And you'll hear about it for the next like 500,000 years. Okay, I bought a concealer, imagine that. This is from a brand that I've heard nothing about. It's from a brand I've never bought from. It's from a brand that I barely knew existed but it was on sale and I wanted to try it. Y'all know me and concealers. I always want to try something new and I always want to know what's best. So this is the Smith and Colt. Excuse me. The Smith and Colt Canceled Light Diffusing V Concealer. And this is in the shade 140 Neutral. I don't really know if this is gonna work out, but we're just kind of gonna see. All right, regular old. It looks kind of like the, I have it right here except not stripey. <laughs> Cover girl packaging. Anyway, looks maybe it might be a little bit not my shade, but that's okay. I can work with that. Yeah, might be a little, oh yeah, not my shade. But that's okay. I can always dot. That is not a very thick concealer. I can tell you immediately. I can always dot like Morphe in the middle of it and it will change the shade to where it's a little more suiting. But that is not a thick concealer. I can tell you that immediately. Okay. But I'm going to give it a try very, very soon. I'm gonna see how it goes. Um, yeah, I went based on what I thought it was gonna be. It was a very light shade and neutral. It usually works pretty well for me. But neutral I'm just gonna be honest but we're gonna see we're gonna see very soon I'm excited because I want to try it and I want to just see you know I am so excited about this next purchase oh my god I'm so excited okay um hmm. so these next two purchases I purchased because of Hannah from Smoky Glow okay um, she liked these two purchases. They're not in her very, very top tier, but they were on sale and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a chance. Um, these are the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Cream Blushes. 
or this is the cream blush. I only got one of them. And this is in the shade 330 Sweet Innocence. I've never had a cream blush. It was $7.69. And she said that she liked, I'm pretty sure, gosh, if, she, if this is not what she said, I'm gonna feel bad. But I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. I'm pretty sure she liked the way that they blended. I think that's what she said. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm not gonna feel like, I'm destroying my makeup. It, okay, that'll blend well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, very cool, very cool. Because I've never used a cream blush in my life. Okay, so that'll blend well. So, my question is, is it gonna be buildable? So if I want it to be more than this, which is never my thing because blush is a struggle for me because I think bronzer's a struggle, like bronzer and contour and blush because I don't know I either have not enough or too much. And so it's like, is this gonna be buildable? I guess I could like start and then if I wanna build, put on a powder. But we'll see, we'll see if it blends. That to me is what's important. As long as it blends, and it looks like it's gonna blend. And if Hannah says it's gonna blend, she, she knows more than I do. The very last thing, this is something that also Hannah suggested. This was $4.90. This is the I Heart Revolution Highlighter. And this is the shimmery, this is actually the shimmery highlighting powder in the shade Banana. So, I opened it up and she liked this highlighter. It wasn't like in her top tier, but for $4.90, but for $4, <laughs> I just broke a nail. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I'm about to probably like chew them off soon anyway. <laughs> but like on cardboard packaging, it's my own stupidity. Oh, this is a long, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I'm just gonna tear it. No, I'm not because it's like laminated. Look at that, it's like laminated cardboard. Look at that, goodbye. Dang, how are you gonna break a nail tearing cardboard? I figure it out, that's how. Um, already hate it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway, so she said she really liked this. I think she said she got it whenever she was overseas. Whenever her and her fiance got engaged, she said she got this overseas. I was like, oh, that's so cute. And ever since then, it kind of stuck out in my mind because it's a banana, how cute. And I think she said it doesn't smell. Something just fell out. No, it didn't. Okay, that's from the packaging. Okay, it smells like, not like a banana, but it smells like, not like makeup. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I have, I have, I have hand sanitizer on. I was smelling that. I'm ridiculous. So anyway, you see the bananas, they are very cute. So I guess you could do like three different highlighters from here and from here and from here, right? So you could have this little get up right here, this little get up right here, and this little get up right here. Oh, those are nice, yes. Ooh, which one is the one? Okay, I think the one I want is the one that's around. Let's just mess around with it, shall we? If you mix it though. Ooh. For 490, I'll take it, honey. I'm just applying it kind of like a Neanderthal a little bit. It's fine, whatever. I did not get a lip product. I had to tell myself no. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, those are really pretty. That's very pretty. I like that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the bottom of the box. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five hair products, a concealer, a highlighter, and a liquid blush. So I have never used, or cream blush. I've never used a cream blush. Um, I've never used anything from Smith and Colt. I've never used anything from Mark Anthony. I don't think. I don't think. I'm pretty sure. 
Um, so we'll see how that goes. And if you have any questions, if you are wondering how it went, just ask away. Anyway, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll let you know if there are any other excursions that I went on as far as shopping is concerned. And yeah, so just ask away. Um, make sure you check out my Instagram. It's at Ash Gets It Together. That's it for today's video. See y'all next time.